If God can redeem Good Friday with all of his pain, suffering and horror, he can redeem us from anything. For many of us, today may be dark, but hope is on the horizon. Today may be Friday, but Sunday will surely come. There is more to your promise. Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Luke chapter 1 verse 28. Envisioning the promise is different from living in it. Mary was chosen to birth the Messiah, the one promised for hundreds of years. She was called highly favored and called to raise a son whose kingdom would never end. But what happens when your experience doesn't match with your expectations? Mary saw Jesus arrive on this earth as her baby boy. He was a promise kept not just to her, but to generations. She also saw him lose his life at the hands of those he came to save. She watched her son suffer. She watched her promise die. Have you ever been in a situation where your dream, your relationship, a calling, or, or whatever, just had to turn around and then you watch it end? You thought God had one thing in store for you, but it turned out differently than you imagined. How do you move forward when your expectation doesn't meet reality? Mary saw her son die. Her relationship with him on earth was finished. But Mary learned through her pain that even though living it looks different than envisioning it, God's promise never fails. In scripture, Mary is mentioned one more time after the loss of her son. In this moment, she was talking to God and praying constantly. That is according to Acts chapter 1 verse 14. She chose to move forward in faith even through her loss. And the, pro the promise made to Mary didn't play out how any mother would plan. She faced some low point she dealt with loss but that didn't change her commitment to what god was calling her into she continued to pray with the disciples she became one of the um, the first members of a church and the promise she watched die resurrected into something more than she ever expected of course her son died but her messiah arose even through the unimaginable. You don't have to hide, ignore, or deny your pain. Acknowledge your disappointment. Face them prayerfully. Give God the space to reveal himself to you as you move forward one step at a time. You are here. You are, here. You are still here. So he's not done with you yet. There is more to your promise. There is more to your doubts. Unless I see the nail mark in his hands and put my finger where the nails were and put my hand into his side, I will not be disappointed to John chapter 20, verse 25. It can be hard to accept the different things that happen in life. It can be even harder to believe something good can come from them. Thomas was one of the 12 disciples who flew to Jesus. In the three years he spent with Jesus, Thomas had moments of great faith. When Jesus wanted to return to Bethany after Lazarus died, the disciples feared it would mean death for them. But Thomas was the, was the one who said, Let us also go, that we may die with him, according to John chapter 11, verse 16. But even the most faithful can have moments of doubt. When Thomas was with the disciples after Jesus' death, some of them started to say he had seen Jesus raised from the dead. But Thomas wouldn't believe it. He refused to believe it. Thomas often gets a bad reputation for doubting Jesus after his death. But if we are very honest, who could blame him? In situations when things don't go the way we hoped, it's easy to lose confidence. When you are disappointed, it's natural for you to doubt. But in the midst of his doubt, Thomas had an encounter with the risen Jesus. And that encounter caused his doubt to die. Not only did Thomas realize his teacher had miraculously risen, but he also recognized who Jesus truly was as he declared, my Lord and my God. 
according to John chapter 20, verse number 28. It was in this moment Jesus taught Thomas an important lesson. Doubt doesn't declare his presence. When you face disappointment, what is your default? It may be natural to fall into feelings of doubt. That's okay. It happens to all of us. But, what, but what's important is what we do with those feelings. Don't allow your doubt to be your downfall. Instead, let it be an opportunity to work out your faith. Whatever your situation, trust what scripture has promised. Jesus has risen. He is alive. And he is for you. Have faith because there is more to your story on the other side of the doubt. Blessed are those who have not seen and yet have